Okay, folks, we're gonna bring in New Year right, right? We're gonna make a Southern mixed green recipe, and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. So let's get it. Now, okay, look, before I fly over all of these ingredients, right, I already told you guys this is gonna be like a mixed greens, right? I would like to have normally have done it with turnips, you know, uh, collards, and then some mustards, but I wasn't able to find the mustards, right? So I'm doing a collard, I'm doing, you know, four bunches of collards, and I'm gonna do two bunches of, uh, of uh, turnips, right? Now, I'm gonna just show you, listen, Look, you see this right here? Let me just fix this so you guys can see it. Look, better than bouillon. You gotta have that chicken base, right? Cause that's what we gonna do. Instead of pouring our stock in there. You wanna have like measuring glasses, you know, some onions. Look, there we go, white onion. You know what I mean? Uh, I always start everything. And if you look at how much has been gone, that's, you know, my bacon uh, grease, right? Uh, oh, these are my turnips. Let me see if I can get that to come in. You see that right there? I'm gonna give you guys a better look. And then inside my uh, sink, let me just grab one of these. These are my collards, right? Super simple, you know what I mean? We gotta clean them, which I've already really done. We just gonna cut them down, then we gonna make it. But I wanna show this right here, cause this is where we gonna get a lot of our flavor from, right? What is this right here, y'all? Look, that's that hot. Look, this is pork. You don't have to use that. For some reason, everybody out here in Las Vegas and went and moved and uh, went and bought all of the turkey and everything like that, right? So I'm gonna have to use this pork, which is nothing wrong with it, cause this is what I grew up on. So we gonna have to get this to start to soften up, right? So let me just show you guys. There it is one more time. Let me get it in the focus. You see that right there? This thing right here is tough as leather, but I'm gonna show you how we make it. Now, look, this is what I'm gonna be making my greens in, right? But I'm gonna move this off to the side. I wanna show you, we gotta start softening up that hot. So I give this a head start, right? I'm gonna be using my Dutch oven, right? So I'm gonna put this here. We're gonna go ahead and get about four cups of uh, water going. You know what I mean? Uh, we're gonna mix it, which is better than bouillon. And then I'm gonna show you what's happening right after that. Okay, so look, now come time to go ahead and, you know, to cut these up and get ready to roll, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this like this. I always start off like this, cause just get everybody going down in the comment section, right? You guys let me know how do you guys cut them, right? I heard people say that they just take them like this. You know what I mean? To save some time, they just snap them. Right, and then we gotta leave there, you know, and then we keep going. And then I just take it like this. I like to put a big one on the outside, right? So we gonna make a roll. So let me do it this way so you guys can see. We just roll it, and then we wanna roll it nice and tight, right? So I, I do it like this, and I slide it back, just so I can get that grip on it, and I slide it some more, you know what I mean? And then when I got it rolled up nice and tight, I got a shirt, folks. We rolling greens. Now, take this, and you cut these down however you want to, you know what I mean? I like mine to be a certain size. I'll make some, I'll do something random. You know what I mean? But I usually like them about like that. Okay, so look, now if you pay attention here, look, this is all done, we great there. Now we getting ready to move over to the next step and now we getting ready to assemble and cook. All right, now, this is the part you all been waiting on, right? Got my bacon fat, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some heat underneath the bottom. I'm gonna run with like a medium, uh, you know, a medium heat. This is my bacon fat. I'm gonna go ahead and just put some in here, my bacon grease. Okay, so we already got it going on a medium heat, right? So if you guys pay attention, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this, right? And I'm just gonna quarter this. I do it like that. You guys can uh, quarter it. You can even do it, break it down, you know, one more way. You know what I mean? Uh, but for me, I like to do it like this, right? Because it doesn't make a difference. Once this is hot enough, this is all gonna cook together. And then, you know, what I'm trying to say is it's gonna dissolve and just infuse everything with a whole lot of flavor. Right? So, I'm gonna do my onion first. Right? So we cut this off here. Doesn't really make a difference how you do them. You know what I mean? The main thing is we just wanna get them in there. You know what I mean? Put the flavor. Now, if you look at some of my past videos, I've, uh, what did I do? I think I only used one onion. But look, the more and more I make it, I really like that flavor of that onion, right? So, looking at it in here, I can feel the heat. I can tell you it's about ready. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just go ahead and start putting in my onions. All right, I can see that bacon, you know, fat is up. We'll just drop that in there. Be careful, don't forget onions. All your veggies are mostly water anyway. You know what I mean? So we'll throw all of the rest of this away. But anything else I have that's onion that's good goes inside. I'm loving what I see right here. So you guys can look at that top down view. Look at that right there. Look at them onions. See how they separate? Oh man, them one, hmm, they right. Now, you see I got fresh garlic cloves right here, but I had to remember that I had somebody bring some of these minced garlic, you know, already minced. I gotta use this up or it's gonna go bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a couple of heaping tablespoons of that, because we got to get rid of it, right? So I'm gonna keep moving this around just like this. 
And then I'm gonna introduce, remember that ham hock? Now I'm gonna go ahead and just drop him in there. I'm just gonna move this around because we got that garlic in there, right? But with them onions, you see how it didn't burn? I still got that same medium heat. You know what I mean? So we just put this in here. This is already starting to soften. I can feel that outer skin, you know, working. But don't worry, we finna get it right, folks. Set this over here. Now, you remember that we used a better than bouillon and we used better than bouillon, right? Instead of like the chicken stock. So we have this, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this to it right now. Now I'm getting ready to raise my fire up and put it on high. Make sure we still got, yes, we wanna bring this up to a boil, right? You see that right there? Look, this is what we're gonna infuse everything as far as, you know, our greens go, right? Don't forget, we have some chili flakes. Y'all know about this right here. For those of you guys that don't want it to be too hot, you know what I mean? Just, you know, split the difference, you know what I mean? Now, I'm gonna tell you like this. I, only unless, really, I don't use uh, vinegar, right? But since I'm doing a mixed greens, you know what I mean? Anytime I use turnips, you know what I mean? Or, or mustard, I always add just a couple of tablespoons. I mean, excuse me, a couple of capfuls, you know, vinegar. That's what you guys didn't see, but just because of what we're doing, that's why I'm doing it like this. Remember, mixed greens. I'm gonna move over here and give you guys, look, this is the seasoning that gives me the flavor, right? So I'm gonna put that right there so you guys can possibly see it. Hopefully it's showing up right there. This right here is the true level up, along with the rest of this. Cause I tell you, listen, it's a combination of the ingredients that we put in that make things fire. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead. I took the top off. I know about how much to put in here, but this right here, is what make everybody like, they say, mm, A.B., what's happening? Okay, folks, so you remember these? I'm finna reintroduce this to the, all of this mixture right here, and this is what's gonna make our greens, right? So I got a pot big enough where I can get all of this in the first time. If you guys are using a smaller pot, what's gonna happen is you probably gonna have to put the lid on about halfway through, let it, you know, weather down. You know what I mean? Uh, it'll boil down, and then you can put the rest of it in. Then you wanna start yourself a timer, right? But <clears throat> this one here will get it all in here barely once I have it simmering 30 minutes I'm gonna take a look at it and after that I know I go a minimum of an hour then we want to get the integrity that we want with the actual leafy green you know what I mean okay folks now check this out I didn't I said I was gonna come back and talk to you guys again right I said I'm gonna talk to everybody after 30 minutes show you what it looked like to be honest with you that would have been a waste of film listen because at 30 minutes with the lid on the top you know what I mean I had it down at a low simmer I didn't lose no, that much evaporation, right? So nothing was sticking on the bottom. Everything was just fine and it was on its way. Now we about to take a look. Let me cut this off, matter of fact. Now this is about an hour and 10 minutes, right? So check it out. Oh, and let me give you guys a pro tip. Let me just put my hand right here. Listen, I don't wanna lift this up and get no steam over here and get a, a steam burn, right? So check it out. I'm gonna release, break it from this end, like this. We let some of that steam out like that. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna set it out. I'm not gonna do none of those fancy dishes or nothing like that. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna come over the top. I'm gonna bring this over here so you guys can see it. But you see that right there? Let me see if I can get this to come in just a little bit better than that. You see that right there? Ah, yeah. That's what you wanna have, right? And you don't wanna forget to put that pot liquor in there too, right? I left the bone in there just so that we can have some flavor. It helps with the, you know, with the look of it too. And don't forget, that's really what we used. Okay, so look, that's what I'm talking about right there. Look, if you guys get one of these little containers like this, you can get them from your grocery store or whatever. You can put one of these over the top like this and then you can transport it. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. So, with that being said, now it's time to do a taste test. Okay, folks, so look, after you see me put this in this, you know, aluminum tin pan, I want you guys to take a look. You can see how it is right here. Hopefully this, you know, bring it in so you guys can see it. Let me see if I can get it to focus just a little bit. You see that right there? I don't wanna lose none of my pot liquor though. Let me go ahead and touch it one more time. See that right there? But anyway, check it out. Now it's time to eat it. Now you know I didn't ate this already and tasted it. I can just tell you right here it's fire, but you can see the way it swings, the texture's right, all of that. Mm. Now, now listen, I normally like to do this, especially for the holidays, I like, when I say mixed, I like to do the turnip, the mustard, and the collard, right? But because I couldn't find the mustard, I just went with the turnips and the, uh, I went to turnips and collards. Hey, super fire. Follow these instructions the way I gave it to you. Listen, when you guys use that Creole seasoning, if you don't have Creole kick, but I gotta ask this, the way it's moving off of the shelves and everybody coming back, keep buying it, buying it, buying it. Who out there don't have it? 
That's the secret ingredient along with everything else. It would have been nice to have a couple of uh, smoked turkey in there so I can have a little bit more meat. But with that being said, talk to me down in the comment section below. Don't forget, check out my website. Everything is printable now. And listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, you guys, from the bottom of my heart and my team here, check it out. Happy New Year's and I'm out. Peace.